Hi everyone and welcome back here. In the previous uh, lecture we talked about the interface in general and in this lecture as well we need to uh, cover uh, more and more about the interface. So if you want to maximize the viewport, for example this is the 3D viewport, if you want to maximize it and make it big you can hit control with space to make it big. And as you see we have the the header still and the information bar here in the bottom still exist. So this is the way to maximize uh, one view. For example, the outliner, you can hit control space to make it big or the properties as well or anything you new if you want to split the view. For example, let's change this to maybe image editor and hit control space and you can make it big. Let's join this one. Hit right click, join area and join it like this. You can hit Control Alt Space to maximize it again and to get rid of the header and the bar information. So this is the way if you want to maximize it and uh, get rid of the header and the bottom information uh, bar. If you want to go back, you can go to the corner right here until you see this small icon. Click it and you will be back. Or you can you can hit Control Alt Space and Control Alt Space again to go back to the original mode okay now if you want to maximize the resolution for the editors for example i have the text here i want to make this big the scale of the text and the icons you can hold control and hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse up and down and this way you can change the scale for each editor and that's happened for the properties for outliner you can do this if you do it nothing will happen for the viewboard if you do this you will zoom in and zoom out and for the timeline here if you do this you can make it you can scale the time make it big or small as you see when you open blender you will always see the camera and the cube and a source of light if you want to open blender again and again without seeing all of these things in the viewboard you can go to the toolbar right here just open it and go to the select box hold left click and drag and grab them like this and just hit delete to delete them after that you can go to file here and go to default and save startup file so if you do this when you open blender and the next time you will not find anything here or you'll find it empty and if you made any change in the interface for example if you m maximize some areas or add a new areas and if you save that again you will have it when you open blender in the next time just keep that in your mind all right now let's talk about the important editor that exists here in the interface the first thing that I want to talk about is the 3D viewboard. Inside this view, you can create uh, anything you want. You can model, you can texture, you can do all of the thing to get the final model that you want here inside the viewboard. Here we have the outliner. Anything you add right here, you will find it here in the outliner. So it is a list of the object that you added here in the viewboard. For example, if I add anything, let's go to add and let's add from the mesh section, let's add cube. Now we have a cube. Let's go again. So as you see here, we have the cube listed right here. Let's go to add again and let's add, for example, from the mesh, let's add a cylinder. Now we have the cylinder inside the cube. And as you see here in the outliner, we have the cylinder and we have the icon of the mesh as you see right here okay now let's go back to the add and let's go to the curve section and let's add anything all right the circle now is exists here in the middle inside the box and as you see right here in the outliner we have the busier circle and we have another shape that means uh, this circle is not uh, from the mesh section as we have here it's from another uh, section and each section has its own icon when you add it you can uh, see it right here in the outliner let's move this just a little bit right here we will learn how to move stuff later on in the other lectures each collection here has its own 
objects all right if you want to create another collection you can hit right click and hit a new collection and after that you can pick whatever object you want from here and add it inside the new collection like this just uh, click and drag and put it right here now they are in a new collection you can double click on it to save to change the name for example I can call it new so now we have another collection you can hide or unhide the object here for example here we have the cube you can hide it or unhide it and you can hide or unhide the whole collection from here and this icon right here beside the eyes mean the, uh, the icon of the camera that's mean you can uh, disable it in the render if you hover over here and put your mouse you can see the the note here disable and render and here as well hide in a view world here we have the the properties editor from here you can change the render setting you can change the image size you can uh, add material change the the world and environment color or add uh, stuff right here we will learn about that later and you can add modifiers here to the objects and there's a lot of stuff you can uh, change here this section is very important we will use it a lot in this course alright so that's it for this video see you in the next one